to be honest guys this is probably the coolest thing i've ever made in minecraft look at this it's an elevator that uses air bubbles rather than water streams when you get up to the top you just press this button and after a couple seconds the bubbles will start going down and you can actually take the elevator back down Press the button down here, and it switches back again, and then you can take it straight back up. That's right, guys. This is a two-way elevator that uses air bubbles. What's up, guys? My name's Huganu, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own two-way air bubble elevator. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to be teaching you guys today is how to make your very own air bubble columns. Now, these act in the same way as water bubble columns, as you can see here. Here's the air bubble column, except that there is no water. Now, unfortunately, this only works on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you're playing on PS4, Xbox, Minecraft Pocket Edition, it'll work on all of those, just not if you're playing Java. So this is kind of a diorama of how to make your own air bubble column. You see, you use the dispensers to place the water buckets over the soul sand. Then you use the dispensers to take away the water. And while it takes away the water source blocks, it doesn't actually take away the air bubbles. And then, if you just mine the dispensers, you've got your very own independent air bubble stream. Now, if I were to do anything to the soul sand, such as take it away, the air bubbles would just disappear, and it would act as if there was never anything there. So now I'm going to show you how to make the air bubble column. First off, you're going to place down the soul sand, and then however tall you want the air bubble column to be is how many dispensers you're going to want to have running up along it. So I'm going to do five. And I'm just placing down this redstone so that it'll be easier to place the dispensers against. And then you're going to fill each of the dispensers with a water bucket. And now if you power each of the dispensers, they will place their water. And you can see that a water bubble column will emerge above the soul sand. Now, if we power each of these dispensers again, it'll use the bucket on the water source, collecting the water, but leaving the air bubbles behind. Um, now, this is definitely a glitch, guys, so I don't know for how many um, additions or updates it'll survive, um, but it has been around since about 1.16, I think, and we're now in 1.16.2, so hopefully it's here to stay but I can't make any promises. But now you can just mine the dispensers and the redstone blocks and you're left with your air bubble column. So how does the elevator actually work? Well, we've got our air bubble column rising all the way up. I think this is a height of like 17 blocks right here. Um, and as long as it's over the soul sand, you can go up. Now, I've made a mechanism that actually switches the magma block and the soul sand back and forth underneath the air, air bubble stream. And as long as you're quick enough with that, like if you mine this and then place the magma block, it's not going to work. Um, the air bubbles will just break. But as long as it's a smooth transition from one block to the other, the air bubbles will stay. So I can write it up, and then when I press the button, I just kind of made this makeshift uh, connection here. It drops a block of sand onto a pressure plate um, that then switches that over. And then for down here, it's a lot easier. You just have the button running onto the piston. Um, so there are probably other ways to do this, but I thought this was kind of the most efficient and at least a fun way to send the signal down to the bottom of the elevator. Um, so you can do it another way, but the core idea here is that you have the pistons pushing the soul sand and the magma block back and forth underneath the uh, air bubble column. These are the materials that you're going to need to build your own elevator. So for making of the air bubbles, you're going to need as many dispensers as you want at all, same amount of redstone blocks, and the same amount of water buckets. You're going to need one soul sand and one magma block to get the air bubbles to go up and down. And then to transition to soul sand mode, you're going to need a piston, a button, and a piece of redstone. And then to transition to the magma block side of the elevator, 
you're going to need a piston, a button, another piece of redstone dust, a weighted pressure plate light, so one of the golden ones, a hopper, a chest, a dispenser, and then any amount of disposable item that you have. I use sand, um, but anything that you're willing to use as um, just something that will constantly be dropped onto the pressure plate, um, you need a certain amount of that to make it work as well. And then to build the chute, you're going to need um, a block of your choice. I used iron, and then I use sea lanterns just to keep it nice and light inside of the shaft. If you want the smooth jams of the elevator music, you're going to need to get a jukebox and the chirp disc. And then I used an oak door to hide and then give access to the maintenance room where you can access the sand or whatever other item that you've already dropped down the chute. Now I'm going to show you how to build the elevator itself. Um, I've got a just giant cliff of dirt here that matches the one over here. I'm going to show you how to make this exact elevator on this cliff. So first off, what you need to do is you need to clear out the space for the elevator. This is going to be a two deep, three wide channel running all the way to the top, just like this. And so now we can build the air bubble column going up to the top. So we're just going to place our soul sand here and then run dispensers all the way to the top. Now we're going to fill each and every single one of these dispensers with its own water bucket. This is going to take a while. And we actually are going to place another dispenser one higher than the level that you want to arrive at. If you miss any of these, then the air bubbles are only going to go up to the level right underneath it. So now we're going to power all of the dispensers. We have now formed a giant water bubble column. And I'm going to power each of these once more to remove the water. And now you can see that we are left with a super tall air bubble column. You mine out the redstone and the dispensers. And that is most of the work that you need to do to create your own elevator. So now we're going to put in the system that switches between the soul sand and the magma blocks. So to do this we're going to come in and remove two blocks to either side of the soul sand. Now you're going to place a magma block to the right of the soul sand a piston facing the soul sand but over a space and then a piston leading directly into the magma block. Now you're going to place redstone on top of each of the pistons and then hollow out the area around this piston including two blocks dug in like this. You're going to place a chest here and that's where you're going to collect the sand and then a hopper leading into the chest and then a gold pressure plate on top of that and the redstone you should see change so that's leading from the pressure plate. Now this is the whole system that will collect the sand and power the magma block. So if you stand on it, you should see the magma block switch over and the air bubbles start flowing down. Now the sand's going to be dropping right onto there so we're going to dig a chute straight up from there. Just like that. And now when the sand drops down, it'll push on the piston. Now we're going to place a block of iron in front of the piston here and a button on that block. Now when you push in the button, the piston should shift over. Now we're going to place the dispenser at the top level that you want to reach, facing down, so that it is flush with the uh, ground that you want to land on. And then we're going to place a block of iron on top of that with the button facing this way. When you push in the button, you should hear the click of the dispenser, and that means that you're good to fill up the dispenser with sand. Now when you push in the button, you should see a block of sand drop all the way down to the gold pressure plate. 
Now it's time to build the shaft. We're going to turn this entire back wall into the iron. And then I recommend placing a sea lantern or some other light source every couple spaces in order to give um, a nice warm glow to your entire elevator. Now we can go ahead and put a block of iron going all the way up on either side as well as on the front. Now I recommend leaving the doorway three spaces high and that is so that you don't hit your head on the way up. If it's only two and you go halfway you're just going to kind of hit your head here but if you leave it as three you can have a smoother transition into the elevator. So now we're going to fill up this column with the block of iron and then we can go ahead and bring the rest of this up four blocks above the ground level. This just gives us another three tall doorway and then I put a sea lantern at the top here just to give it that inviting glow. If you're interested in having the elevator music this is the time to install it. Just take your jukebox and place it one block below the uh, landing block here. Now if you're flying in the air bubble column um, your crosshairs are going to act really weird. Look at this right now. My crosshairs are on the iron block but if I mine it, it mines the jukebox from below. So you just have to, um, rather than putting your crosshairs on the jukebox, just aim a little bit up. And then if you want the elevator music, I recommend using the chirp disc. It sounds nice and uh, elevator-y. And that is it, guys. You have completed building the elevator. It was that easy. So to test that works, just press that button. And the bubble sh should take you down. Like this. And the bubble should take you back up. Now the final step is I'm just going to take the iron blocks and to make it look nice and symmetric, put it on that side. As well as over here on this side. And then I'm going to fill this back in with dirt and put a door here to access the sand. Just like that. And if you come in here, you should see the sand in the chest from when you tested it out. And just like that, you guys have built your own elevator. I hope you found this tutorial interesting and enjoyable. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and would mean a lot to me. Anyways, I'll see you guys next one. Peace.